Hi everyone, it's Gail. And today we are going to make this little flippy flappy uh, booklet piece. I pulled this out of my to-do box and uh, some of the viewers were like, I want to know how to make that. And I had to kind of look back. Um, I think Julie at Camilla Crafts uh, design on YouTube is where I saw this. It's been quite a while ago. Uh, I'll link her channel, but I'm not sure where her video is on this, but we're going to make four of them today. At least we're going to try, uh, kind of mass make them a little bit and maybe we can get one decorated as well. So that's what we're going to do. Let's say hi and hugs to Denise, Lori, Mindy, and Jan, thank you so much for your kind comments and, and for watching. Okay, so first thing I need to do on this one piece of paper is take off the branding strip. So we'll get that done. And then, then we'll figure out the, um, the scoring. I've kind of looked at it and tried to remind myself but we're just going to follow along with this one is what we're going to do okay so let's try the purple one first i'm going to set these pieces of paper back out of our way as we're working okay i'm going to get out my big scoreboard because we'll do that that way okay now Let's unfold this for a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, how did it how did it go? Okay. So from my measurements, it looks like kind of top to bottom. We're going to do three inches and Let me turn this around so I can see the numbers. Yes, looks like a little less than three, but three-ish, three-ish and eight and a half-ish. <laughs> three-ish and eight and a half. So that's gonna be kind of our sideways. So I'm gonna do three, Boy, this is thick paper. This might not have been the one to start with. Three and eight and a half, I said, right? Okay. So we've got that. And then this way, it's going to be three and a half and seven and three fourths. Okay, so sideways, three and a half. And seven and three quarters. Okay. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and make one and then the other three will score and we'll do more in the mass make, but I got to remember what I'm doing here. Okay. So at the bottom, the three inch side, see that's going to go up like that. And we're going to cut these three pockets, right? Okay. Can you see me if I'm over here? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to fold that that way. I'm going to fold this one down. I'm just going to crease the folds so I can kind of tell where they're at. Okay, doesn't my fingernail polish look good with that paper? <laughs> okay, these are going to be three pockets. So we're going to kind of cut these at an upside down V so that they will close without binding. Like 
that. So now see, there'll be a little space and then this can fold without binding. Okay, so do that and let's do this one. It's a little bit hard to see my crease with all this crackle paint that we got going on here. But, okay. Don't want it to be too much because I don't want to lose pocket space, but okay, so, okay, so there's that. So this, okay, so we're going to cut this one too because this is going to flap down. At least, so I think. Okay. Like that. Let's go ahead and punch these pockets just so we remember that's what we've got going on here. Just gonna kind of eyeball the middle. Okay. Pick all those little half circles off of my body. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna, this one's going to be rounded. Oh, my poor little rounder. It's not, it's not a happy camper. Okay, and then, so this will be a pocket, this will be a flap, right? Then over here, we're going to cut this one because we're, this is going to flap over there as a pocket. I feel like I didn't measure this right, but we'll see when it comes together. If not, it might just be a, a wonky... A wonky gale cre creation. Okay. And then this is going to be a, po a side pocket on this side. And see, that's too tall. I don't know. I feel like I did it backwards or something. Oh, well. It's okay, like we could, we can cut that off a little bit and still make it a pocket. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's use this, this one. Maybe it would work about the best. Kind of kind of cut a little of that one off. That's why I wanted to do one without doing any more, just to make sure I know sort of what I'm doing and I, obviously don't but okay so now all our bits are are correct so that's gonna go there this is gonna go here that's gonna go there and this is gonna be a flap but which ways which way does this fold now this one is gonna fold back this way okay yeah this is gonna be off I don't know how I did that, but okay. And then this one is going to go this way over the top of that one. So it's still going to work. It's just going to be a little different size. Okay. Yeah, it worked. Yes. Okay. Well, We'll continue to persevere and see if we can get it to look more like that one. Actually, it is the right size. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, guys. <laughs> okay. I'm going to unflap it again. So we can start on the next one. This is going to be this one. And so want, I'm just double checking. It's not quite three and a half, 
but it's between three and three quarters and three and a half and I can't do that on my scoreboard. So, yep, I'm gonna go three and a half and seven and three quarters again this way. Okay, right? No, this way. Okay, three and a half. This is sort of the up and down folds and seven and three quarters. Okay. And then this is gonna be the bottom and it's at three. Three and eight and a half this way. Three and eight and a half. Okay, I'm gonna do the other ones too so that you've got them all folded. And I'm gonna lay this over here, bottom at the at the bottom there. Okay, so three. An eight and a half. And then this way we go three and a half and seven and three quarters. I have to look every time just so I don't mess this up. And seven and three quarters. There's that one. One more. Okay. This one, we're going to go three for the pockets and eight and a half. Eight and a half. And then we go three and three quarters, is that right? Yeah, three and three quarters and seven and three quarters. I think I might've done that wrong last time. Oh well, we'll see what we get. Three and three quarters and seven and three quarters. I did it three and a half, I think, on the other one. Oh well, okay, let's see then how we do. I'm going to get my big old bone folder so that I can get those uh, creases a little sharper. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to put this one over here to keep as reference. Okay, this one. Three inches for the pockets. And these are the flaps and stuff. Okay. Okay, so V's, upside down, V's. Getting a little, getting a little crazy here. So hubby's off to the grocery store. He's getting another batch of phyllo dough for baklava. He's a baklava making maniac at Christmas. Okay, so there's our three pockets. Yes, we'll give them the snip snip. gonna snip a V here the top top right and 
And now as I'm cutting, it's top left. Because <laughs> the top's on the bottom. Oh, that's confusing. Okay, let's round those corners. Okay, my, my cutter liked those better. Okay, so that's going to be like that. Yes. Okay, now uh, the left side, we're going to do... The V to be able to fold this one right. And still I did that I did that funky. I don't know, maybe maybe this one got cut off. I don't know. Anyway, we're I'm gonna cut it off at about right here. And since I have a line to follow, I should be able to do it pretty straight. Okay. So there's the side pocket. Okay. And then this folds back. The one with the little flap folds back. This folds down like this. And this one folds around that way. Is that right? I think so. Yes. I think that's right. Okay. There's that one. This one. There's the pockets. There's the flaps. Here's the... Up and down ones. <laughs> okay. So I think we did these on here at one point. Or it could have been over on Patreon. I do lose track of what is where. But um, anyways request to do it again so here I am doing it again thought I might as well make some for kind of some of the journals that I have coming up okay this one is gonna it's gonna have a little upside down writing so I'll have to that into consideration right there so but we can decorate that so that's no big deal okay let's do the flap so I didn't measure the first one wrong I think I just have to cut this down I didn't remember doing that but apparently that's what we need to do okay yeah, this flap's going to need decorating. It's got upside down writing, doesn't it? So, yeah. But that's okay. No biggie. We can do that. We can we can decorate it. Yeah, so he's doing that. He said, "When are you going to do your cooking?" I'm like, "Eh, Friday before Christmas." <laughs> no. Just, just uh, behind a little, but you know. Okay, so we'll do maybe about to there. Okay, and that's going to get a thumb hole here. there okay so then we fold this one this way fold that up that over this down this up and this back like so okay there's another one 
And last one here. Here's the three for the pocket. Here's the flap. Okay. Last one. My vitamins I had at lunchtime made me queasy. I'm like, ooh, 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 ooh. Now they're all over me, all these little semicircles. All right, so now we'll cut this one. Hope my instructions were clear enough to be able to follow along. Okay, so there is that one. Then we're going to do the side here. Okay. And we have to clip that off a little bit for the pocket. Once you kind of get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to do. Yeah, I went over into my Stamperia paper, and which I tend to hoard, but I'm getting a start on my Word of 2024, and I'm unhoarding my Stamperia paper. I'm using it. Okay. We did it, guys. We did it. Okay, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost positive I have one of these. I'm not going to decorate this one until I'm sure I've got one in my idea journal, but I think so. That's where I saw that it was Camellia Crafts that. Um, let's, I don't know, let's think about this one. I would like to be able to use purple things, but I don't know really how much purple do I have. Maybe, I don't know. We'll look at it once I've got a little bit of distressing to do on it. But I know I need to uh, cover that one area that has the... Um, uh, it's got the upside down writing there. Okay. Yeah, lots of edges to distress on this, but that's okay. Um, let me go ahead and 
partway down the sides. Yeah, and definitely do all this before you glue anything. Because <laughs> otherwise it's going to be tough. of the flap and the outside of the flap. Yeah, this is another spot that needs some decorating. Okay, then this this little crease too. Okay, and then the pocket. Okay. And then this on the top of it. And then the back side. Well, it's still very dry here. No white Christmas for us. Um, I have heard that there's a chance of some snow right before Christmas. Let's see. I'm probably, I think this video is after Christmas. So it will be a moot point. <laughs> Oh, okay, now I also want to do the creases on this side. So, this crease and this crease. Okay, I think that I think we got it all. So now we should be able, I'm gonna get a glue page just cause I don't wanna get glue all over my table. And let's, oh, I missed a spot. I see it, I missed a spot right here. There, okay. Let's see what we can do with this little, I don't know, what would you call it? Folio or something? A little flippy floppy ephemera piece is what I'm going to call it. <laughs> okay, and so, and then that goes down there. Then this one. And then hopefully in the whatever purple journal I do, hopefully there will be um, ephemera to stuff all these pockets. If not, then I'm going to be busy making some. Okay, so there's those three. Let's do this pocket as well. glued. Okay. So this is going to be the front. Kind of. Kind of the front, I guess. Let me get that a little bit more right there. Um... And what do we want to put on it? That's the question. Let's see here. I'll get out my ephemera, but you know, I'm also kind of wondering. Let me grab my bag that has the journal kits in it. I 
I'm thinking I might have some purple in the bag that would be helpful. Let's see. Okay, so what do I have in here? This is one of them, purple, purple hydrangea kit. So, oh, right. This was sent by Saved by Grace Creations. Okay, there's nothing in there for me to use. Um, I don't have... Oh, yes, I do. There it is. Okay, I need to take some time and reorganize all these kits because they're all over the place. They're, you know, the ones the ones I need to fussy cut and the, you know, and the this is in the laps. Um, is one I need to fussy cut. So that's what pile it was in. Okay. So don't need that, but I just want to see if there's anything on in this in this kit that might be good for decorating since this is one of the purple ones we're using. Uh, this is from Lime Dot Arrow. This kit, but it's not going to help me, is it? Oh, well, there's some, there's some labels. That might work. Okay. This one, I'm kind of thinking of this one on here. Let's cut it out and see. I'm sorry, I don't like to fussy cut on camera and have you ha have to watch me. I try to get it all done ahead of time, but I'm backed up on my fussy cutting. Now the question is, do I take it at Christmas time or not? The fussy cutting. I suppose I could, and then if I had time and wanted to, I could do it. I wouldn't have to. It would just be there. Yes. Look at that. That's great. Okay. Um, oh, there they are. I'm like, I know I had glue pages. Where are they? Oh, yay. That's perfect on there. Okay. I love that. So if we get this done today, I can just put it in with the with the um, cover and the kit and everything. I think this goes this way. Okay. Gosh, that's just right for there. That's awesome. Okay, and then we've got a little something there. Now, I don't feel the need to do anything on this pocket particularly. This one, I need something up and down there. I'm looking at that one. We're just gonna label this up. It's already got flowers, so. So let's see. If I can put this up, up and down, and I think I can. Yeah, I'm going to put that right there. Perfect. That was an easier decorate than I thought it was going to be. Put that right there. Yep. Okay, so that's there. 
then I mean you could put pockets in here too if you wanted to couldn't you you know I don't know. Oh, this one needs this one needs something too. But I don't feel like any of these are gonna work. What about a big butterfly? What about that big butterfly? I think my actual fussy cutting scissors are over on the other table. I could grab them, but but nah, I'll just do this with these. I like to cut across the antenna onto the wing, and then I just have a little V to do here. And B to do here. Of sorts. I was thinking about putting some lace behind this, but I think I'm thinking better of it just because. I don't think the piece would necessarily lie flat then. So maybe not. Um, but maybe, hmm, I don't know. Sorry, I'm not very adept at these particular scissors. I do better with my my actual fussy cutting scissors. There we go. Okay, so. Throwing things on the floor. That's right, I'll get it when I. You know, I don't mind that. Even though this is upside down, I still kind of like it. Okay, let's. just takes enough of the attention off the upside down writing to make me happy. <laughs> okay. So all that remains is to stuff all the pockets of this. I mean, theoretically you could write in here too. So, so yeah, um, that one's done peeps. How are we doing time-wise? Gosh, we got about 20 minutes. I don't know if we can do another one, but let's try. Yeah, this guy's just gonna go right in that, in that little bucket with that um, cover and digital. I have another purple, um, another purple cover and I need to find a digital go with it. So we'll see what I end up finding for that. Might as well do these while I've got them. I like this. up a little bit. Gosh, the distressing looks really nice on the on this sort of brick tile thing they got going on this one. Did 
that one already. doesn't super show on this on this floral side okay I think I got everything there bit there's a bit to be to be distressed all right let's glue that one Can you hear my heater in the background? It was chilly down here when I came down after lunch. It's a cloudy day out there. But I don't think we're gonna get any snow or anything. Oops. 